Previously. 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 On the doll's house. When last we met Nora Helmer, she had had an epiphany that she'd been living a lie for years and years. In part one, I think uh, Torvald is a man's man. He's a successful banker. He loves his house, he loves his position, and he loves his wife. It seems from the outside to be a very happy, content marriage. Does he listen to his wife? Does he honor his wife? Does he respect his wife? That's up to interpretation. She says to him, I think I've had enough. I think I've been cheerful all this time, but not happy. Secrets are revealed, passions at night, and betrayal on both sides destroy this so-called perfect marriage. And she left, and she slammed the door. Anne-Marie is a nanny. She takes care of the kids. It was Christmas. Emmy, the character I play, was around four. She was very, very young. She's also raised Nora from an early age. So she happened to leave her own child do this. The play deals a lot with your ideas of what the future might be or what the past was and how those things come into conflict and how they um, are narratives that can run parallel to each other and how they relate to each other. And from the perspective of Emmy, I think a lot has been said in her family history about the previous events. I think our play stands on its own. This play stands on its own. So I think it's a great idea to read the play before you come, but you don't need, you don't have to. You'll, you know, you'll have a full experience either way. Like anything, your experience might be more rich if you are also able to draw from the shared history, like the rest of the characters on stage. And I think that if you haven't read it, when you see our play, you'll want to go back and read it.